Mojang have just dropped a 1.17 beta for Bedrock Edition for players to mess around with. While it's not entirely a feature-rich 1.17 beta, it's still a nice beta to play around with. So if not everything is in, what did they actually add? They added the powder block, this is the new snow block which you'll fall into, kind of like how cobwebs work. However, if you wear leather boots, the falling effect is heavily reduced. Mojang have just given another purpose for leather, which is always good to see. They also added the new goat mob with its awesome pathfinding, reduced fall damage and jumping ability. They also have the ability of dropping a horn after ramming into a tree. This is pretty cool because it's nice to have a change from kill the mob and get the drop mentality that we're so used to as players. It also has the new goat horn which is probably the most annoying noise I've ever heard in my life. The go will also actively jump and avoid powdered snow in the wild. When you fall into a powdered snow block, there will now be this new fog render which will overlay on your screen. And that's it, that is the beta in terms of the 1.17 content. It adds in a whole bunch of bug fixes and minor changes, but they're not really 1.17 specific, they're more of just fixes they should have done in the previous update. I hope you enjoyed the review, and now I can show you how you can actually play it yourself. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, it would be awesome if this video could get 100 likes. So Bedrock has a lot of platforms, I'm currently playing on Windows 10. And if you're on Windows 10 or Xbox, this tutorial will help you. If you're on any other platform, link is in the description and you can follow it through and then get the beta itself. And then once you have the beta, all you need to do is create in a world and select which beta you want to play. So first you need to go to the Microsoft Store and type in Xbox Insider Hub. This is something you need to install. And once you've installed it, launch the program. Here you can go to your insider content and then join the Minecraft beta. Once pended, you can go to manage and make sure you select the beta for Windows 10 and then hit play. Sometimes you won't get this beta at launcher and you'll need to go back to the Minecraft store and then make sure that you downloaded the new update. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. It would be awesome if this video could get 100 likes. It's so exciting to see these new beta releases even though it's not the full version and I can't wait until Java gets a fully adapted snapshot. I hope you enjoyed the video, I've got two more videos on screen you'll definitely enjoy.